So back up they come on the footy show fight night. For round eight of ten. And I would think after that one, he's probably in front by three or four points. The Australian. Yeah, definitely. He's probably outworked him for the majority of the rounds. Mm, but Long has had some good moments. Long throws a couple. Put him with that right up the top. This time he back to the orthodox and pumps out the left. Well, watch him up the cuts inside. No holding, gentlemen, no holding. Fight out of it, gents. Oh, there was a good right up the cut in amongst all that. And it stung the American. Well, Lucas's uh, fitness is coming into play right now. Couple of punches thrown in anger there, and and there's a beautiful left and right. He's got him in trouble here, Anthony. Punching a will, and down he goes. 150 to go in round number eight, and the punishment in that neutral Six, corner. Seven. He's going to get up at seven. You're right, Jules. Have a look at me. You're right, mate. You go. Walk to He's me. He's okay. You okay? okay? About 90 go. seconds to go. Let's go, box. Round eight. You got to defend well here, but long, unless he's going to be in trouble. Well, he's going to unleash. And, and he's just about gone now, Anthony, because he's taken one again and he sits down the ropes. He's, he's saying that Brown was holding him down there. It appeared to me he sat down. But anyway. Oh, there's a left again, and he's getting in close. There's another left. He's in strife here. The referee will step in very shortly because he's basically defenceless. He should get it a body. Brown, go to body head, body head. Make him bring his hands down. Too much head hunting here. And there's an uppercut there. The referee has a close look at 54 seconds. Oh, there's another big left hand. Well blocked though. He's blocked a few with his head, unfortunately, through the course of this round. That is true. Oh, <laughs> if he'd hit him there. <laughs> Probably would have found his head in the MCG if he got him there. 25. It's been a big effort for him to stay. I thought he was gone midway through this eighth round, the American, but he stays there. Claret coming from his nose. And he's going to survive this one with 14 seconds to go. The referee was thinking, I think, of when he with the knockdown. This is the 10-8 round of the Australian, so he has an unassailable lead. Now, big left hand right on the bell, and it sounds now as we come into the penultimate round. Eighth round, Anthony. He's just out working him on, you know, this. When he's, he's normally comfortable on the ropes, but when Lucas throws more than two or three punches, he tends to get hit. There's that one that he didn't connect with, but the rest was a knockdown round. So a 10-8 round to the Australian. Into the ninth round we come now, and he's very courageous, this bloke, but he gets tagged early in the round as he gets him into that same corner where the knockdown occurred. Break! Step back! Step back! Come on, step back! Come on, step back, clean. Let's go. Come on, I'm watching. Really good job, the referee here. I'm watching. For these two big men, keeping them apart. Left hand to the side of the head. And he's been stung now, Long, Julius Long by Lucas Brown. Oh, there's a left hand just to the side. And he's again in that other neutral corner now and shoulders, arms. Just hadn't thrown enough punches to keep, you know, Brown off him. Oh, and he's going to get in close again. And try and tie him up. No holding came the call from the referee. He pushes away from him. And then he goes after him again and he covers up to protect his head. He's got to get out of that body, Brown. And there's punches to the body now, taking the tip from Anthony Mundine. And the referee moves in. Halfway through round number nine. And this is really what Lucas Brown needed. A fight like this to stretch him. And he goes in now and longs in strife again in that neutral corner, but he won't surrender. Courageous stuff. Come 
Right hand caught him as well, and the ropes are holding him up at the moment. 105 to go, round nine. Come on, mate, let's stop the holding. Give me head up, Logan. I think Long's trying to try and you know, last this round out and then give it a good shot in the last and final round. Well, he can't win unless he were to knock the Australian out. He's got an unassailable lead on points. No charge, no charge. Well, yes, definitely. He's got he's to hurt him or stop him. Come on, guys. Boxing, guys. Boxing. Looks like he's going to survive here for this ninth round with about 20 seconds to go. Break! Step back, come on, step back, right back. Let's go. Let's go. There's that 10 second thump you can hear in the background from the timekeeper. Oh, he's oh, put him down with hand. a big left hand right on the bell, and he won't be getting up from that one. He's, he said no, no count. He's out, he's gone. He wins the fight by knockout in the ninth round. Jeff Fennick into the ring to congratulate the man who's destined to fight for a world title. Here it is. Take us through it. It's just a lead left hook. Boom. Yeah. That's the first one. That wasn't a punch that knocked him out, but it was similar to that. We'll see it in a second. I think he ducks his head. And I think he looks ducks into it. There we go. There it is. He was sort of moving away, and as he was moving into it, it was a left hand went bang, and he wasn't getting up from that. Here it is again. You watch his head here turn. He turned his yeah. head and he went straight See, into the punch. He didn't have the, the right hand up by his chin, protecting the mm -hmm. protecting his whiskers. At 2.59. Of round number nine and by way of KO and now 23 from 23 with 20 by way of KO your 